Hi folks, we're doing a little more remote shoot here. This is another one of Charlie's projects. So what is this beast, Charlie? 57 Ford Ranchero. Okay, cool. And this thing, I guess it Ford back in the day, this would start out as a station wagon. Yes, all 57 Rancheros were made out of station wagons. So they, I mean, this is where the spare tire used yes. to go in mm -hmm. yesteryear. And only a piece of this would open up. That's where the back seat was, where yep. that hole is. Still has the um, the place where you would put your feet. It's yep. not open they, down uh, there. Yeah, they left all the floors in them because they were made out of station wagons. Wow. The tailgate is, is basically station wagon version? Yes. And what do they do? Just seal the top? Yep, seal the top and uh, there's pro molding that goes around it. Cool. So, where'd you get this monster? This came from Toledo, Ohio. It originally is a Texas car. Um, the guy that I got it from bought a barn full of cars. Whoever had this stripped it, put it right back in the building. And when I got it, it had no paint on it, which was a really good way to buy the car. I could see how solid it was. So we made a little deal. And my buddy of mine went out and picked it up in Toledo. I waited 50 years for this car. My buddy and <laughs> I built one in high right. school in 1970. And just before he died, the same year I got this, we talked about it and length about it. And uh, then three months later, it came along. Wow. I'm convinced it was uh, divine intervention. I got my car. That is cool. It has all new floors in it. Ten pieces that were pre-made and uh, all the rest of it was hand fabricated. Now, what did it used to have for a motor? It used to have a 332, which was a 58, 59 Ford engine. It was a, a real bad engine. This is the <laughs> same basic design, but this is a 390 out of a 67 Ford Galaxy. This transmission's out of a, uh, a big block Ford Fairlane 67. Now, you went with the four-speed? Four-speed, yes. Yeah, you can see the, the gear crunch and lever there. Yes. So you're 394 barrel. This is only a two barrel. Two barrel. At some point it may get changed. Okay. And starts good, runs good, drives. I just put the original rear end back in it. One of today's projects is getting some mud on this hood. And it, the whole front end's completely been redone. And uh, it now, goes on from there. Well, tell me here, let's if we could. Uh, Tell me about these signatures here. Now, how did you end up with these? I took the, the glove box door off and I went to a nostalgia uh, racer convention out of Bruce Larson's out in Pennsylvania. And Big Daddy Don Garlitz was there. So, so this have, is Big Daddy. Yep. I have his um, addition. Um, a, friend, a friend of mine named Terry, he's got a, a wheelie, a 38 Chevy uh, pickup that's a wheelie truck. Osborne, his name is, and that's Bruce Larson, very famous drag racer that campaigned the USA won Chevrolets in the uh, 60s. He's become a real good friend. Cool. Some of the uh, some of the old time shows. Yes. And you used to run your own show in the Poconos, but it doesn't happen anymore, huh? No. No. Yeah. I mean, it'd be like uh, next weekend or the weekend after. It would be like next weekend. So I this am going through withdrawal. Is this the first year it's not happening? Yes, eight years we ran it. Wow. And by coincidence, um, the strip was only open for eight years. They closed it down. So this drag strip only lived for eight years. Now, where whereabouts is this strip? It's near Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. Okay, okay. Right on 81. So it's really not the Poconos. Wilkesbury, you're kind of, well, I guess you're on the very far side yeah. of the Poconos. Yeah, it's, it's kind of... I always picture the Poconos as being right along Jersey yes. there right along northern Jersey so there we go I'll tell you what Charlie's got another couple of interesting things here if uh, if he'll uh, narrate maybe we, we could show you some of them too anyway folks I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing remember to keep your feet down your heads up get out there and enjoy all your days